Hello everyone, now I will show you how to set up your Netgear router, DGN 1000. And before I start, I would like to remind you, that if my video helps you, please support my work. I send half of all donations to animal shelters. All the details are in the description below. So, the first step is to power on the router. Take the power adapter. Connect one end of the power adapter to a wall socket and the other end to the router. and the other end to the router. Then press the power button. Once it's on, an indicator will light up. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. Next, connect the cable from your broadband provider or from your modem to a special internet port. This port is often called WAN and is usually a different color. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks into place. Now you need to reset the router back to its factory settings. Press and hold the router's reset button for 10 seconds. Wait until the lights on the router start to flash. Sometimes, this button is located inside the router casing to prevent accidental presses. Use a thin object to push it down. the router will restart and all the settings will go back to their original factory settings. Plug one end of the ethernet cable provided with the router into a ethernet port. Plug the other end into your computer or laptop's ethernet card. Please wait a few minutes for connection. Great, the router is now connected to your computer. Now you will need to set it up. But before we begin, I will demonstrate an alternative way to connect the router if you don't have an ethernet cable or your computer doesn't have an ethernet port. Just connect the router to the power adapter and the cable from your internet provider. This will enable Wi-Fi if the router is new and has never been configured, the Wi-Fi network will be named as your router. Your router has a unique Wi-Fi network name and password that is printed on a label. Connect to it. Great job connecting to the router. Now let's move on to the setup process. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. Then click here. Read Netgear terms and conditions and click I agree button. Now you must select NO, I want to configure the internet connection myself and click Next button. And then click OK. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. So the first thing you need to do is set up a new password. The admin password is used to log in to your router's web interface. Pay attention to the password requirements. Write your new password in the first field and duplicate it in the second field. Then select two security questions and write answers for them. You need them just in case you need to reset the admin password in the future. Click Next. On the next page, you will find the information you need to connect to a Wi-Fi network. If you want, you can print them out. Click Next button. If the router has not been updated for a long time, the next page may automatically start the firmware update process. 
I recommend updating the firmware if a newer version is available. It will take about three minutes for firmware update. Please do not turn off the power or press the reset button. If the new firmware is not available, just click OK. Then you will be redirected to the Netgear's website where you can register your router. If you want to, you can do it. I'm not going to do that, so I'm just going to close this window. Log in to the router's web interface again if you were logged out of it. Enter the standard username admin and password that you created a few minutes ago. Press sign in button. In the top right corner, you can change the language of the router's website interface. To get the internet, go to Advanced. Set up Wizard. Press No, I want to configure the router myself. Then press Next button. On the next page, select the internet settings. In most cases, there are two options, connection with and without a login. Almost always, your internet connection will not require a login. All the information you need is in your internet provider's contract. If your internet connection does not require login or you do not know whether it does, select no. Leave account name and domain name unchanged. Then in Internet IP Address section, choose Get Dynamically from ISP. In the DNS section, select Get Automatically from ISP as well. If your Internet service provider only allows access to a specific MAC address, you must copy the MAC address of the main computer. If you are unsure of these settings, choose Use Default MAC Address. Check again that your settings are the same as mine. And click Apply. In most cases, it is not necessary to clone the MAC address. But if you can't get the internet connection after quick setup, later in the video I will show you how to clone MAC address. Now you need to reboot the router. Go to Advanced. Advanced Home. Click on the Reboot button. And click OK. After the reboot, wait a few minutes and try to Google something. If it doesn't work, check all the cables. They must be connected correctly. Then log into the router control panel again. Go to Basic, Internet, and choose Use Computer MAC Address. Click Apply button, and then Reboot Router again. After a few minutes, check your internet connection. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. I donate half of all donations to shelters. You can find more details in the description below.